Hello, my name is Dimitri. In this very brief video, I'm going to show you how you can update multiple Microsoft Office documents at the same time without having to open them one at a time. I'm going to use a piece of software called Office Find Replaced by Exis that works on the Mac and Windows computers. This is going to be a demonstration on the Mac. This is a very powerful software and will allow you to replace text, images, update text formatting, and replace metadata in those documents. Let me show you the documents I prepared for this demonstration. I've prepared four different documents and we're going to try to change them at the same time. That's the whole point of this exercise here. So let's take a look at what we've got. This is the first one is going to be a very simple example. We're just going to change two documents for the sake of argument. Of course, remember, you can change thousands of documents. You can perform thousands of operations on them in addition to that. So this is a small example, but hopefully this will explain the point. So here I have a basically a resume or a profile of an attorney with an attorney name on it. This comes from Microsoft template document uh, set, setup. Um, I also have a legal document here that also has a attorney name here and a bunch of other stuff. This is a kind of a tip, typical template for a legal document. And we're gonna, let's make some changes to these documents and update them at the same time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the attorney name and maybe we'll change the plaintiff's name as well. Let's see how we do that with Global Office Find Replace. Okay, here I am on my Mac computer. I've downloaded the Global Office Find Replace Professional and installed it on my Mac. When you run it, you'll see the following screen. It's, the, it's, a, it's sort of a blank slate here. This software is very intuitive and easy to use. Several things I'd like you to notice. First of all, it'll guide you through four steps to enter certain information about the data that you would like to replace in your documents. In addition to that, you'll see everywhere this question mark. You can click on it and it'll open up our help website, which will have a lot of additional information about what you're doing, about the different details, about some of the nuances of the software. In the first step, the software is asking you to select the types of files that you want to work with. Software, this software works, of course, with Microsoft Office documents, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint. But in addition to that, you can also make changes to text and custom text files. Uh, you can enter your own custom extensions if you like. We're not going to do that in this video, but just know that that's possible. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Word. It'll then open up step two. I've selected the fact that I want to work with Word documents. This has two buttons. Step two has two buttons, add folders and add files. In the add folders dialog, I can select a folder and it'll go through, read all the Word documents that are in there and allow you to perform operations on them. You can also work with single files by clicking on add files. You will note also that I have contextual help here as well. As I rest my cursor on the button, in this case, it's very trivial, but this is not trivial in other places in the software. You can see what this is asking you to do. You can click to open a folder, select dialog. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So this is the folder where I've placed my sample documents for this demonstration. It's, I called it input and I'm going to go ahead and open it. The software will go ahead and read the folder and find all the word documents that are in it. It'll tell me what that folder is that I've selected. And also it'll tell you the number of Word documents that are in there based on the fact that I selected Word documents in step one. In step three, you will be entering the data that will be substituted in the documents that you selected in step one and two. In this example, we're just gonna work with text, but of course you can replace images, metadata, and op options where you can remove headers and footers, for instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on text find replace. Text find replace will bring a screen where I can enter the data that I want to find and replace in my documents. If you remember, we had attorney name, so I'm gonna enter that. And I'm going to replace the attorney name with the, with the name John Smith. Now these are, of course, are made up names. Now I want to also replace the plaintiff. So I'm going to go ahead and click add another substitution. 
So I'm going to, when I do that, a new row opens up in the screen and you can enter up to 5,000 entries in here. If you like, you can also save them to CSV and then import them later, which is a major, major positive capability of this software. With a CSV template, you're able to store as many changes as you want in the location of your choosing and just load them later instead of entering them like I'm doing here manually. We'll go over that a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and put plaintiff in here. And I'm going to put plaintiff's name. I'm going to make up a name. John Altmeyer. Let's do that. So that's pretty good. I like that. There's a bunch of options here in the screen. I'm going to leave them as is. They're set up for general case use, and I'm not going to touch them for now. So I'm going to click on Validate, Save, and Close button. This will validate my entries. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. After I do that, you will notice that the background for the button text file replace turns green, meaning I've entered some data, and it'll tell you I have two total text substitutions. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the destination folder for our results. So of course here it's very obvious there's a button here. I'm going to click that and I'm going to select output. I'm not going to overwrite the original documents. I'm going to save them, leave them as is, and I recommend that you always do the same. I just created a different folder called output and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And when I do that, it'll tell me what that folder is. After I'm finished, you'll see this flashing green blue button and this is the button you can click to start performing the substitutions you've entered this is very straightforward you've seen what i've done here it took me two seconds to do that so i'm going to go ahead and click the perform button i want you to notice notice a couple of things i'm not speeding up the video here this is literally how long it takes to, to run these operations this software is very fast at what it does so i'm going to click perform substitutions and you'll see at the bottom it'll start counting Two second, it basically took two, three seconds to perform sub two substitutions on two files in this example. After it's done, you can view the log file. And this log file will allow me to see all the changes and all the results. So you can see that it's completed a uh, number of text changes were eight in this, in this example. No changes in our other file. We haven't made any there yet. And this one had one. So we're going to go ahead and review what those changes were. You also note that it'll show you all the changes that you've entered in this nice format here. You'll notice here that I've opened two of the documents side by side, the original document and the result after the substitution. You'll notice that in this very simple example, the software changed the attorney name to John Smith as I've asked it to do. This is a very simple example. This is the very basics of what the software does and probably its most popular and powerful feature. Now let's review the changes that were made to our legal document. So you'll notice that the attorney name has changed to John Smith. That's great. You'll also notice the attorney name here has changed. That's really good. And then the plaintiff's name and plaintiff here have changed here too, but you may not like the fact that plaintiff's name was changed to John Altmaier. That's not correct, right? It should just stay as plaintiff's name. So we're going to go back and we make a small adjustment to fix this. This is a very common question and a common something or other that you might run into using a software or something like this. So I'm going to go back to my text to find entry. And instead of plaintiff, I'm just going to copy and paste exactly the words that were in that original document. And this time, it's going to find exactly what I'm looking for so that we can fix the error where it's replacing too many plaintiff names. So I'm going to go ahead, validate, save, and close. Perform the operation again. Now also notice that there's a button here. It says open result folder. This is for your convenience. If you click this, it'll bring up the finder with your output directly, directly in it. And just going to open up the legal document. And now you can see that John Altmaier is our plaintiff and John Smith, of course, is our attorney. And of course, if we wanted to, we could replace defendant's name, but we're not going to do this in this case because I think you get the point. Let's take a look at another example. Let us now turn our attention to formatting. Formatting can be done by clicking again on text find replace as we've done before. And we have our changes. Let's say we wanted to 
change the formatting after the text is replaced by adding an underline. To do that, you're going to rest your cursor on the F next to the text that you want to apply the formatting to. F in this case stands for formatting and you're going to need to control click on it and a menu will come, come up and you'll be able to see that there's a set replace formatting. There's other options here. You can change it to a regular expression or wildcard. We're not going to go over that here, but know that they exist. You can apply regular expressions as well. Regular expressions help you achieve a lot more sophistication with finding and replacing. Uh, subject of another video. But for the time being, let's try to replace the formatting. So when you click that, <clears throat> you'll, be, you'll be presented with the screen and you can make a bunch of operations on it. So first of all, John Altmaier is what we're going to be changing. And I'm going to go ahead and select bold. I'm going to make it bold after replacement. And let's for the hell of it say that I'm going to apply highlight to it. I'm going to come up and say I'm going to make it in yellow. Just the very first, uh, very first selection. And um, this screen has three different uh, columns of buttons. Leave as is, apply or remove. And you can do either, you know, apply or remove. So you can apply bold or you can remove it, it bold uh, underline if uh, bold or underline or italics if it happened to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. As I've done in the past, I'm going to click validate, save and close. I'm going to go ahead and perform the substitutions. Again, very quick. Now let's review the results. You'll notice, of course, that John Altmaier is now bold and underlined in yellow. In this example, we were able to apply post change formatting. Note that you can also do the same thing to pre change formatting. And what that means is you can find text that is formatted a specific way. So I could have, for example, here did a control click on this and brought up set find formatting. Find formatting will allow us to find words formatted into a specific way and it functions very similar to replace formatting. Now let's work with Excel a little bit and also show a demonstration of image substitution. So you will remember I had an Excel document there as well. This Excel document has a company name and it has a blank company logo. It's an image that doesn't say anything. I want to put my own logo in it. This is a common scenario. I have a bunch of documents with, uh, with a logo that I want to replace. In addition to Excel, I also have this image in the other legal word documents that we used. So let's take a look how we can work with that. So I'm going to close this document and I'm going to go back to our software and I'm going to now add Excel. Now notice the screens will change a little bit. Uh, now I will have four documents selected in total files and I still have my two substitutions, but that's okay. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to just go back in there. I'm going to add a company name. I'm not going to change or delete anything that's there already. I'm going to say company name and I'm going to put in Exis comma LLC. And now I'm going to go also into the image find and replace extract. What this software does is it'll go through all your documents, find all the images there and show you a little thumbnail and then allow you to replace those images. We see that I have this logo in three documents. There are two Word documents and an Excel document. And you can click on an image and it'll tell you where they're located. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to go ahead and click on replace with image and I'm going to select our exist logo here and open it. And now you can see that the software, the background here changes and the new logo is showing. You can also reset this thing. You can say, okay, I'm going to reset it and do something else, but know that that's available to you, but I'm going to go back and do this one more time. And it should be, uh, we should be able to bring it back and select it. I think I didn't do that quite right. There you go. So now I have the image set to be replaced. I'm going to click save and close. 
and now you'll notice I have three text substitution and one image change. Let's see what happens when I substitute all of those. So here I am. I got my image changes set and my text changes set. Let's click Perform Substitutions or Extractions. And notice again, this will take no time at all. It took again three seconds with the four files that we have. I'm going to go ahead and click Open the Result folder. So let's take a look at what we got. First, let's take a look at the Excel document. You will notice that the company name has changed and the logo has also changed, has been replaced by the new image. I can also take a look at the invoice that I have. This document, we haven't done any text substitution on yet, but there you go, I have the logo replaced. And of course, the attorney also had a logo and I was able to replace it in this word as well, all in one shot without opening every document one at a time. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can see how easy this software is to use. I hope that you do give it a shot, download it, give it, try, try running it, and see how it works for your use case. I should also mention that we love to answer questions. There's an email in the in the in this video below in the in the mess in the in the description box. Feel free to contact us. We answer emails very quickly. Our support is second to none. Thank you for watching.